Okay, really quick. Here is a short rundown of the things that I've ever used in my hair, both relaxed and natural, um, and transitioning. Okay, when I was relaxed, I used this, the oil moisturizing hair lotion from Organic Group Stimulators. I love this stuff. Um, my hair really loved it when I was relaxed. It loved it even more when I was transitioning. It helped me curb a lot of the breakage. Um, and when I finally did my chop, yeah, they're just going to stand up. When I finally did my chop, it helped me a lot then too. Um, so that's a product that I use. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it any longer. I don't think I will. But um, yeah, once I transitioned all the way to natural, oh, I used um, jam for my... Um, to do by my curls, like if I didn't want to shampoo or if I didn't want to just do conditioner, I would use this. I would just um, wet my hair, let the curls pop, put a little conditioner in my hand, wet, let the curls, you know, start forming, and then I would use this to hold my hair. But it didn't give me like a crunchy hold. It left my hair really soft. It did leave me looking kind of shiny. A uh, little jerry curlish, but it didn't matter. Um, my hair was healthy. It was happy. I was in love with it, so it worked. Um, considering the jar is gone, that should tell you how much I loved it. Um, um, shampoos and conditioners that I've used when I was relaxed. Um, uh, not relaxed. When I first transitioned were the deep moisturizing shampoo from Mane and Tail. Turn that way. Remain and tail. Um, this was awesome. And the conditioner was the gentle replenishing conditioner. I used these two together. They left my hair feeling amazing. Um, the only drawback is they smell really bad. And I'm sure the horses didn't care, but I do. So I stopped using them. These bottles are pretty full. The 33% more in the shampoo, I'm pretty sure I will never ever use this stuff. I mean, I will, but if. I have some awesome smelly stuff to put over top of my hair then I will probably get back to using these but for right now I'm not going to use them anymore um what I do use to shampoo and condition my hair now are the Suave Daily Moisturizing Shampoo uh, excuse me Daily Clarifying Shampoo as well as the conditioner that goes with it um when I lock I usually don't use a lot of conditioner because the front of my hair is really um, fine. It has a finer texture than the rest of my hair. So I don't use conditioner because it will make my hair unravel. It usually does. I, I usually have to, uh, up until here recently, I've had to go in and repart these front few rows, the front three or four rows. And that drives me crazy, especially with using the conditioner. So I've stopped. Um, I do still use this shampoo about out of the bottle now. Um, I will do this though. I will say this. I do use a deep conditioner. Um, I've used two in the past. Um, the Organic Root Stimulators um, Replenishing Pack. It smells like grapefruit. It's an orangey, yellowy pack. It's pretty awesome. Um, I usually run it through and let it sit for about 30, 45 minutes and rinse it out. I don't, um, it does untangle, it does loosen up those front ones, but what I've done is while it's in, I'll twist those and put a clip on them, one of these little clips on them. And, um, rinse it out with the clips already in and then and that way I still have my twist. Um, those are some things that I've used up my shampoos and I love my clarifying shampoo. Um, until I find something better I'm going to stick with that one. Um, again I still love the main detail but it's not really good and I don't have anything to cover that small. So yeah. Um, something that I use on my braids. Something that I use on um, certain styles when they would kind of dry when my hair really wasn't just to give it a little extra sheen was the Egyptian Sparkle Perm and Braid Sheen Polish with Conditioner um, they sell these where they do micro braids um, all of the African shops have them um, braid shops have them 
Um, some beauty supply stores carry it. I'm not sure if it's everywhere, but I know it's here. Um, it usually leaves my hair really soft. Um, the smell is really pleasant. Um, it's not overbearing. It's not overpowering. It's really good. So I recommend that for, I mean, if you're doing like, if your hair, you know your hair is not dry, but if it just looks a little ashy or, or like mine, I've got a little shine to them. If I wanted to play that shine up, I would definitely spray that on. Um, it lasts for a couple days and the smell goes away, the shine goes away. By then it's time to retwist it anyway, so or do whatever else to it anyway. So by then, you know, it's no big deal. Um, for itchies, I use the anti anti itch scalp oil from the Organic Root Stimulator. It's got um aloe vera and almond oils in it. It's got some other stuff in there too. It's really great. Um, it works really well. I don't have any problems out of it. The smell is uh, depends. It depends on my sinuses that day. <laughs> Honestly, some days I can take it, some days I can't. It's it's a very strong smell. I'll let you smell it for yourself before we go further on that. Um, the two things I use to retwist my hair, um, besides my clips and my combs to section and repart if necessary, um, the one the main thing I use is the um, Jamaican mango mango and lime cream wax I use this um, it smells great it's awesome I spent five bucks on it which is ridiculous but it's it's a fairly new jar so it's a lot of retwists it's I it use a very small amount on each one you can see that pretty sure you can't but that much that much on each twist and this jar lasts me a while um if I should ever run out of this and I can't get to a store or don't want to spend five dollars on the jar, I do keep some of the lock and twist gel in the house. Um, I keep this for emergency purposes only, just in case, like I said, if I have to have an emergency retwist or if I have like something very important, like a doctor's appointment or something like that, and I really need to do a quick little, you know, retwist. This is pretty awesome. I just take, you know, whatever part of my hair is usually this piece here. I just take some water and smooth it in there. And then I take this stuff and I run a very small amount over those pieces. And um, they usually lay down with no problem. Um, I keep that, like I said, for emergencies only because I don't like to use it because when it dries, sometimes in my hair it flakes. And I, I don't appreciate flakies don't like flakes um i've got a few hats and hair bands and stuff that i use often my favorite one has to be this one it's hello kitty i got it recently from let's see walmart it's a little kid it's a little girl's headband um it's my favorite i love hello kitty if you know me you know that <laughs> um another one that i use is my um crunchy headband. It's um, one single band. It doesn't have a, one of those metal pieces on it either. Um, a couple of hats that I use for the winter time. This one I just made. It's a little large. It's way too big for my head. I'm not even going to show you how big. But um, it's really big for my head. Um, I'll probably use this for when my hair gets longer and fills out more. Um, my favorite hat is this one. This is my wintertime keep me warm hat. It warms me up awesomely. Um, it's really fuzzy. It's my favorite colors. Pink and chocolate. Um, so it's it's pretty awesome. Another hat that I have that I wear often um, that I made is um, this hat. This hat is wonderful. I made it. It fits perfect. Um, the young lady whose video I watched to get it, I can't remember her name right off the top of my head, but I will definitely post it below so you guys can see it. Um, these, are, these are just a few things that I used. Um, I also have the Opsless ponytail holders. I use those to section my hair. Um, makes it easier while I'm parting because I put four of them in my head and just go like that and retwist 
Um, that's pretty much it for right now. Um, if I run across anything else that I have ever used, I will definitely add to this video. Um, question, comment, concern. Um, go ahead and post them. I will check. I do check them often, so make sure you do that. All right. All right. Till next time.